Uh, happy Fourth of July, everyone. I watched 48 hours of cops straight. <laughs> As like a case you study. You told me you watched like two. You like uh, you're not shitting. You really sat down for like two days and we're doing nothing but watching. Cops. Literally, I probably did a, in 48 hours. I probably did three eight hour stretches <laughs> of nothing but cops and well and jail. Like it was a job. Yeah. You did a route. You you went to work. Well, and, for a cops. There's also this show called Jail, where it's just the same thing as cops. But it takes place from when they drop you off at the detention center or the county jail or yeah. whatever, city jail, and they film you getting booked in. I've never seen jail. Yeah. It's just the booking process and so all the if, assholes that are sitting in like, who carries, the waiting. Who carries the show jail? The same uh, Spike, the same same people. Oh, so it's back to back. Yeah. It was literally like an episode well, it was of like, cops. It was like eight, yeah, eight episodes of cops and then like four episodes of jail because it's not nearly as a long-running series. And then more cops, and then more jail, and then more cops for, like, two straight days. And I, uh, I basically did my uh, Law & Order case study. But what was your conclusion? Well, after your case study of cops, what did you arrive at? Um, a, like, fix your goddamn taillights and your... Taillights always get people. Yeah, and your license plate lights, and fucking use your goddamn blinker. They love pulling over somebody for a Because then you get pulled over... And A, uh, if you have warrants, make sure you have your fucking taillight working because you're going to go to jail for not having a taillight. Um, and then just be respectful because outside of people who have warrants, because it, normally it's like, oh, your blinker's out. I pulled you over. Uh, who are you? What are you? Oh, we found a warrant. You're going to jail. Yeah. And they're, they're very calm, civil people. Like, oh, and the, there's always the pleading and begging. Man, I just got a job and this and I love you and I got a kid. And Does that ever work? Out of your your study, well, obviously your case on study. obviously on cops, no, because it wouldn't be on the show where a guy cries and they're like, "Okay, dude, I'm gonna cut your break one time and let you go." They're not gonna show they, that. On it's cops. cops; they have to arrest you. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a very boring show. They would call it like meter maids. Do they still have all the rednecks who beat up their women and the yeah. women who go, yep. "He loves me." He really does no, love actually, no, me. Not much of that. Most of them are. Yeah, fuck that son of a bitch. I'm tired of it. I'm going to sit. You know, fuck him. He needs to learn a lesson or she needs to learn a lesson. A lot of them are women stabbing men with like scissors and forks and shit. Because they were getting beat up? No, so no. Just fucking done with it? No, just like any drunken person. They get into, they get belligerent and start screaming and hollering. And then sometimes the man like chokes the woman and whatever. Or and the, wo the woman grabs a fork. The gut? Yeah, and stabbing him in the shoulder or, or something. Um, that's so the other is thing. is he the one calling the cops on her? Yeah. Who calls the cops in those situations? A couple of them were the men. Most of them, domestic violence or the woman calling, which, I mean, I'd assume is, you know, justifiable in, in its actions. But uh, back to the story, though. Okay. When you get pulled over, A, don't run, because there's a lot of those. Like, oh, dude, I didn't want to talk to you, so I ran and fucking drove all over the highway and got into a wreck. Um, but a lot of them are like, when you get pulled over, pull the fuck over, roll down your window... And put your hands on the goddamn steering wheel. Don't get out of your car, because a lot of people do that, too, on this show. They just get the fuck on out cops, of the car. they get the fuck out of the car? Yeah, like, you get pulled over, and then they get out of the car, like, hey, what's going on, buddy? You're out of your fucking mind. Yeah. Don't get out of the car. Oh, I just wanted to talk. Obviously, you're fucking hiding something. You don't want the cop near your car. Yeah. And nine, nine out of ten times, the cop walks up, tells you to get on the ground, they smell marijuana in the car. And obviously, that so leads what, to a search. like, if you have weed in your car, play it safe. Play it cool. No, swallow everything you can. <laughs> that, again, the, the case study led me to some beliefs. <laughs> if you have drugs in the car, swallow them. Wait, this is like if, if you're like alone. Super troopers, eat it. Yes. Eat the weed. If you're alone, <laughs> if you're in the car by yourself, eat anything paraphernalia related. <laughs> if you have a pipe, if you have a bong, a crack pipe, eat it. Swallow that motherfucker. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Um, I love your. I love that you like learn shit from this. If there's another person in the car, and you're the driver, shove it under their seat, because apparently, in most jurisdictions, whoever seat it is closest to, is in control of it. Therefore, guilty by association. So wait, if you don't like the person you're with, throw it on the old passenger seat. Wait, and the thing is, you can't be jostling or moving, because a lot of times it's like. Hey, I saw you like reaching under your seat while you were pulling over. I'm gonna do a search that gives me like reason. Probable cause. Yeah. 
So don't look like you're moving around. But, okay. But swallow. Swallow everything you got. What next? Let's um, make some cereals. I learned this how, shit yeah, how from to get, cops. How to get out of fucking getting pulled over. Uh, I, well, I, oh, as another antidote to this? Yeah. Um, I read a story today of a gentleman who was talking about he, uh, he was getting pulled over for sw- swerving, I think, but he was drunk, and he knew he was drunk. So his option, he pulled out his pocket knife and stabbed himself. <laughs> and he's like, I'm just trying to get to the hospital. Oh, God, I got stabbed. I got to get to the hospital. And the cop escorted him and took him to the hospital. So that's one way to get out of a DWI. Stab yourself. Just stab yourself so real right, Rule number one, eat everything in the car. Yes. Rule number two, if you, if necessary, yeah. stab yourself. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, if like marijuana, other drugs, worst case you're going to get because they can't prove anything without contraband. Yeah. Uh, worst thing you're going to get is driving under the influence, which is a little bit lesser charged than DWI in most states. I can't speak for every place. Um, but, again, it's not illegal to be high in essence, it's illegal to be high in driving, but it's not illegal to be high. It's the marijuana that's going to get you a possession charge. Okay. So swallow it and then stab yourself. <laughs> I swear because I'm bleeding out, officer. I need, I'm, I need to go to the hospital. Um, outside of that, though, once you are whatever you did, they're pulling you out of the vehicle. Keep your fucking hands on the steering wheel. Yeah. Officer walks up. Officer, I have a weapon in the vehicle. <laughs> I have a gun in the back seat. Officer, I have a fucking hand grenade in the trunk. Tell the motherfucker. Because... As so soon- admit, admits, let him know what's going on. Well, uh, yeah. Because what happens a lot of times, too, is the officer sees a gun sitting on the floor or in the dash or wherever you have your weapon sitting. Okay. You didn't declare it. They yank you out through the window and pin your head to the fucking ground. You were no- telling me this. You were telling me it's not uncommon... For them to fucking just grab a dude and fuck him. Yeah. If you don't declare it, they will fucking yank you out. So tell them, officer. Now, if you tell them, are they cool? Yeah, well, no, but then they, there's a procedure. Okay, keep your hands where I can see them. They'll open the door. So they know. Step okay, out of the vehicle. This is what I do in the city. What, what you don't want to do. You'll be detained. It's a surprise scenario for cops. Exactly. You don't want them to have a surprise scenario. So they'll detain you. They'll put you in handcuffs, have you stand at the back of the vehicle. They will... Obtain the weapon, you know, make sure it's safe, and remove it from your actions. Then they will proceed with their investigation. Okay. But that way, they're not like, hey, what's up? All of a sudden, you get, they see a gun and yank you out of the car. Yeah. And fuck, I, mean, I know it's for their protection, but goddamn cops will stand on your head. This is a new thing you've learned. Yes. Like, if they, if a cop has to throw you to the ground, and it makes sense, if you know, if I was throwing somebody to the ground, yeah, make sure they can't move. Yeah. But they will stand on your neck and put your like the biggest fucked up thing about getting thrown to the ground too by the cops. Give me your arm, give me your arm, give me your arm. But it's pinned between you and the car that's parked on top of it. So there's no way to give them your. Yeah, arm. It, like they'll be standing on you, and your arms off. I, I can't really describe it, but your arms all fucked up, and you can't move it. Okay. They're screaming at you to give them their arm. Give me your arm. Give me your arm. It's like. I'm not resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. I'm trying to get... It's underneath a, a fucking car. It doesn't move that way. Yeah. And then the thing is, too, they will grab it and yank it and force it around. <laughs> it's very violent. But I guess, again, there are several ways to not put yourself into that position. Yes, but sir. No, case, ma'am. You're saying declare all weapons. Declare all weapons. Now, if you're trying to hide shit, be shady. Like, if you have drugs in the car, don't carry a firearm. That's an instant felony. So, hold on. I'm trying to keep up with this. Marijuana joint, pistol, felony. So, but you should have already, according to your rules, you should have already eaten the joint. Yes, you should have eaten it. Now you just have a gun charge that you declared. Or you don't have a gun if you're carrying marijuana around. So or you, cocaine or crack or meth right, or whatever. just to recap. You eat, the, eat the drugs. Eat every drug you have in the vehicle. Stab yourself. I don't give a shit if it's aspirin or not. Eat the drugs, eat all. stab yourself, declare all weapons. No, well, no, don't stab yourself unless there's like a DWI and you're trying to avoid that okay. kind of thing. Eat the drugs. A, an easy way out of a DWI is to stab yourself. <laughs> eat the drugs. If necessary, stab yourself. Yes. And declare all weapons. Yes. There is Anything a bazooka like this li- this is a good list. in the trunk. Officer, I just want to let you know. That there's, you know... What if there's a dead body? I don't know if you should declare I, that. I have not come across that episode of Cops yet. Okay. So, so you I, haven't learned. In your case yeah. study, you haven't Yeah, I am uninformed. That. I am ignorant of the 
avoiding finding the body cases. So we can help the damn dirty drug dealers. That's what most can, of cops is. We can help the normal DUIs, people, but we can't help the serial killers. Most of it is normal people getting pulled over who have a warrant, and they're completely cool, and then they cry. Or, oh, I smell drugs, and oh, look at all the drugs you have. Or, hey, he has a gun. Fucking stand on his head. Wow. Um, outside of that, though, you're being detained. So you got the car thing, driver's registration, you give it to them, all that. No quick movements. And only move once they tell you to. And make sure it's slow and deliberate. So almost like it's Jurassic Park. Yes. Cops are T-Rexes. <laughs> slow, deliberate movement, and they don't bite you. So you, you have now committed some sort of action that believes that leads the cop to believe that there's something going on. Okay. They're going to ask you to step out of the vehicle. Turn the vehicle off. To step out of the vehicle. Do so without kicking out any beer cans, crack pipes, or falling on your face. <laughs> this is this is the number one key. This is the first impression, round two. Don't fall out of the fucking car kicking beer cans around. <laughs> I don't know I don't know anybody that drives with a beer that also throws their loose empty beers into the floorboard. <laughs> but you've seen this on cops. I've seen the driver get out and three beer cans come out with them. <laughs> I mean, at least throw I in mean, the backseat. That back fucking seat. guy deserves to go to jail, dude. I know. Most of what you see on the show is that. Now, there are the, again, we're, we're excluding the assholes who run or who are hiding in the attics. Weird shit like that. Yeah. I mean, I saw a couple, I saw a guy riding down the highway on a dirt bike. The cops pulled up behind him to say, like, stop riding your dirt bike on the highway. He starts throwing guns out. <laughs> So, I mean, obviously, don't be a criminal. Is I guess rule one, don't be a criminal, because that's going to get you in trouble with the cops. Okay. But moving back on, you're now under investigation. Please step out of the vehicle. Don't, don't fall down. Don't go kicking shit around. Don't throw crack pipes at the cop. Okay. But again, hands in clear sight, slow, deliberate <laughs> actions, stand up, and don't go spinning around, jerking, pulling your pants up. That's another thing, too. Fucking wear pants that fit. <laughs> because I think a lot of You think people, that's good? That would stop a lot of problems? Well, how do you pull your pants up? You, you reach behind yourself, pull them up from behind. They don't. No one's pants falls down in the front and stays up in the back. It always stays up in the front, falls down in the back, right? Okay. That's how your pants fall down. Okay. Reaching behind yourself, that's instantly like a he's reaching for guns or hiding or uh, something, you know? Oh, so I get what you're saying. You're wear not saying pants wear that fit. pants that fit for that reason. You're saying wear pants that fit because if you go to pull them up, you're now reaching for a gun. Yeah. That's another action that is not deliberate, so up, slow, If you were going to be a criminal, wear pants that a fit. belt would be a really good thing to have. Uh, if you're going to be a criminal, I wear would say belt. wear, like, jogging pants. Something that, like, is good to run in. Because criminals run. Uh, okay. That's another big one. Uh, just on the note of running. Okay. Once you're in handcuffs. I love you know so much about I can't even keep up with the rules anymore. Uh, once you're in handcuffs, do not try to run. It will end badly. Hands behind your back, full sprint. You can't run that fast. You can't catch yourself. You're going to fall. Wow. <laughs> and there's no way to catch yourself. I mean, you got a great point. So once you fall, it's over. Yeah. You've fallen. And now you have, a, you, you you have a fleeing. And you can't get up. Yeah, you, you have a fleeing from the cops charge against you, which is a felony. You try to run, instant felony. Wow. Um, yeah. So, and your pants. A lot of people... Try to run, and their pants fall down to their knees, and they trip and fall and bust their face. What if you had fitting pants? Wear, you might be able to get further. If you're a criminal, wear pants that <laughs> fucking fit. Preferably, like, something you want to run in, jogging. Just think for the future. Style is not important if you're slinging crack. So, there's so many things. Wear fitting pants. Don't kick beer cans. Slow, deliberate movements. Slow, deliberate movements like a T-Rex. Declare your grenades. Declare your weapons. <laughs> I mean, I can see where this gets complicated. There's a lot of rules now. Uh, I don't even remember the rest. Fuck. Uh, don't, don't be an asshole. Yep, don't uh, be an asshole. Pull, like, don't run, I guess, covers all aspects of fleeing. Don't okay. fucking flee. Oh, stab yourself if it gets too yeah. hairy. Uh, swallow all the drugs. Swallow all the drugs. So, now <laughs> that we're wearing fucking... fitting pants, you've swallowed a gram of cocaine, <laughs> you, you have a stab wound, 
and you're ready to run. <laughs> like, again, too, don't wear flip-flops if you're a drug dealer. You can't run in flip-flops. No. You got to wear sneaks, man. No man has ever gotten away in flippy floppies. <laughs> I think you should teach a course. I think you got a class here, Serial. Yeah. Uh, women, wear a bra. Preferably a sports bra if you're a criminal. Not a lot of bras on cops. Yeah, well, not the ones that want to run. Men, no flip-flops. Women, wear bras. Serial's Crimonomics. Coming to a college near you. Stay tuned. Uh, I love it. Mm-mm. Oh, what? He's not, We're not done. He's not done. He's we, not done. We've only gotten to the part where you're detained. Okay, he's got more. Fuck it. So the officers ask you to step out of the vehicle. Again, don't pull up your pants. Slow, deliberate movements. Don't reach behind yourself. Stand there. Have a conversation with them. Be polite. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. I'm sorry for what I did. What are you looking for? Why am I being detained? So this is where the legal side of shit comes into play. This is the important part that I don't think anybody fucking understands. Okay. So... You're being detained. You are not under arrest. You have not been read your Miranda rights yet. So anything you say is admissible in court. They can't hold it against you. It's hearsay at this point. Yeah. So, I mean, be courteous. If you want to lie, lie. Don't fucking give them a reason to dig deeper, though. Don't don't, don't catch yourself in a circle. Wouldn't you say that the key is, did you say lawyer? Not yet. We're not to lawyer yet. Okay. So you're out of the car. We're having a conversation now. What happened? What so you're are you talking doing? About on the way into booking. Like no, no, you're... we're not to booking yet. Okay. You are out of the car now because the cop has an interest in you, and they okay. want to take you out of your oh, I environment. Oh, I get where we're at. Okay. So they take you out of the vehicle so that because they don't know what's in the car. Yeah. Get out of the car. Let's go stand at the back and have a conversation. Okay. Be polite. Don't fidget. Don't be fucking chewing on your teeth. You know, don't be doing weird shit. Be a normal fucking human being. I yeah. think I think most people know that. Keep your mouth shut though. Only answer direct questions and be concise, short, and to the point. Don't ramble. Don't tell me about how my uncle and aunt did this and that. Because there's a lot of times on cops when you're explaining something that you round robin yourself into a fucking lie and give them probable cause. Okay. I can see that happening. So whatever you do that now has piqued the cop's interest, you're in cuffs. You are now technically properly detained. You're arrested. Nope, not arrested. We're not arrested yet. You're just detained. You are point. properly detained. You are in cuffs, sitting on the ground. Okay. Now they're going to do an investigation. They're going to go sit in the car, do whatever the fuck cops do. Another, More than likely at this point, there will be two cop cars. Uh, they'll call in for backup when situations like this happen. Uh, again, be polite. If you want to make small talk and if you're in the right mindset to be polite and make chit-chat. You think chit-chat is a good idea? No, chit-chat's not a good idea. Okay. But... If you are innocent, if you are being polite, you can make a joke and have a good time. And With the cops? Yeah, the cops are people, too. That's the thing you got to realize. They're just like the employee at McDonald's. It's a uniform. So you think they wouldn't mind a fun conversation on the job? No. Okay. They're, they're, they're completely cool with it. They're human beings. Okay. They don't like doing their job as much as you don't like doing yours. But they have a different civic duty that they have to uphold. Okay. So if you are innocent and in a, a fucking clear enough mindset... Not to be drooling on yourself and all that. Have a fun time. But keep it on point. Don't go okay. rambling. So now the cops have brought in a canine. You gave them permission. A, on, on the permission stuff, you do not have to give them permission. See, the, the cop has to tell you, uh, I smell marijuana in the car. Is it okay for me to... So you don't have to tell them... Well, you're saying you don't have to give them permission or they don't need permission. They don't need permission. The they big, can just go if they At feel the point like, that they want to search your vehicle, search your... I mean, they have to search your person. They're going to do that with whatever means. Yeah. Uh, but if, like, if they're going into your car, backpacks, trunks, they have to have permission. Okay. Buy time. Always deny. Because it's not an omission of guilt to say, no, you're not going to search my shit. But isn't that going to make them want to search it more? The thing That's is, what I always they have to have... Well, see, the thing is, if you say yes... They do not have to document their calls. They do not have to document any reasoning or rhyme for it. You just said, sure, go look through my car. And then they find crack and pipes and bongs and dead yeah. hookers. No. No, you do not. You do not have permission. That makes the cops call a judge. They have to issue an official search warrant. Are you serious? Yes. I thought they could just look with probable cause. No, they can look. Oh, Plain sight is a whole different thing. If you have drugs sitting on a seat and they see them, you're fucked. You're an idiot. 
But if, I'm talking about like if you have something in the trunk, they have to have a search warrant if yes, you don't give them permission. If you deny them, they have to call into a judge. Who there, there is a judge on on deck who issues these things. But all like night. a 24 hour judge, like yes, yeah. every night it's there's 2:30 in the morning. Yeah, every every night there's one of them that right. stays up. And yes, you because they then they document what the probable cause was. The judge reads over it and says, "Yes, this is a reason to search somebody's vehicle." Where are you going? What are you doing? I'm I'm finding a little comfy. I want to sit a little more comfy. I've got the wet bottoms. You're trying to lay down on the edge of the hot tub. Just keep talking. I was doing it silently. <laughs> you're throwing me off with what the ever the hell you're doing. Keep talking. Anyway, so at this point, you've bought time. That's that at the name of the game, if you have drugs, if you have whatever in your car you do not want the cop to find, you're buying time the entire time. So DWI, same thing. Can I search your vehicle? You have a bottle of whiskey under the seat. No. 20 minutes later, they get a warrant. They search your vehicle. Okay. And they're going fi- you know, once to find Once you consent or they get a warrant, they're going to find whatever the fuck they're trying to find if it's there. And you're saying they are going to get the warrant. You're saying like, heads Pretty up, much. it's going to happen. Unless it's a really bullshit case. Yeah. They're going to get it because, oh, I, like, I smelled marijuana coming from the vehicle. Can I search it? Yes, you can obviously search it. Oh, he's, you know... He seems really shady about me walking around his passenger seat. Okay, yeah, search the vehicle. It's pretty much a go, but they still have to obtain that warrant. Okay. Um, at that point, I mean, you're pretty much fucked. They're going to find whatever the fuck they think they're going to find if, you, you know, if it's there. Because that's, that's the other fucked up thing. A cop can literally take your car apart on the side of the road, cut your seats open, take the seats out, throw everything out, not find anything and say, okay, well, you're free to go and leave uh. you that way. They don't have to put shit back. They can cut your seats open? Yeah. Like the guy from the... I mean, that, well, that might, that might lead to a lawsuit for destruction of property, yeah. unlawful search and whatever, but they can. Do you have another cigarette? I would like yep. to smoke while we're doing outside podcasting. And um, I'm, I'm so fascinated. Here's the thing. I've never heard you go off this much about a subject... It's very fascinating listening to you talk about it. You're like a fucking student. It's, it's of a case fucking, study. I really do. Yeah. Because, again, I don't want to get shot. I don't want to get harassed. I want to know every tip and trick in the book to not get in trouble. Oh, I gave you the wrong thing. Give me, give me the lighter back. There's a lit cigarette. Um, so, now you're pretty much fucked. You're going to jail at this point. They found whatever the fuck they were looking for. In the case of a DWI, do not consent to the any test. Would you be okay with the field sobriety test? If you're drunk, No. Can we do a breathalyzer? If you're drunk, no. So what's the thing? In the state of Texas. Now, I can't speak for every state. Other states have other laws. How does it work if you say no to the sobriety test, what happens? In the state of Texas, that is not an admission of guilt. In other states, it is an admission of guilt if you deny the the sobriety tests. Uh, By saying no, you're pleading guilty to the case. Um. I know in Texas that is not the case. You you can well that does seem like bullshit to say no makes you fucking guilty. It seems like bullshit to me. In some states it's that way, um, but in general, for my knowledge, say no because then they again have to obtain a warrant to obtain your blood. That takes time. That takes time. That also takes time for you to be arrested, drive to the you know local hospital. Have a nurse called up. Get the, the warrant. That blood alcohol is content is dropping. Is dropping. Is dropping. Now, in the case of like hand grenades <laughs> and fucking bazookas, once they find it, you're kind of fucked. But always keep calm. You're a be student polite. of being like a low level criminal, not like a high level. Yeah, I'm not Pablo Escobar. No, but I guess like there was a time when Pablo Escobar was probably like the sixth or seventh biggest. Yeah, he had, he had bigger GDP. Than like Vietnam. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, that's a different story. I don't think the average man, you and me, You're anybody like, we're talking to. Let me show you guys in like the trailer parks how not to get on the show cops. Yeah, this is how, essentially, I'm not telling you how not to get arrested. <laughs> I am not giving any legal advice at all. <laughs> I am spelling out how not to appear on the show cops. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got it figured out, man. That's but yeah, fucking one, thing. once you're fucked, you're fucked. You have already been detained. You have handcuffs on. Now, here comes the biggest important part of the entire conversation. Okay. You are going to jail. Yeah. At some point from the time you were detained, 
which you're not under arrest. You're willfully, uh, you know, obeying orders from an officer of the law. At some point, he is going to read you your Miranda rights. And I think everybody knows that. I can't read them verbatim. I don't have a phone to you pull them right up. You have a right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you. You have a right to an attorney if oh, you so cannot afford one. By the uh, one life. will be provided. And, you know, all I that pledge stuff. pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For which it stands, one nation under God. This at, is our independence. At that point, once your Miranda rights are read to you, you are officially under arrest. So from that point on, do not fucking open your mouth. This is quiet time. This yes. is like one school quiet time. The first line in the Miranda rights are anything you say can and will be. That's the point people forget. Can and will be used against you. Shut your fucking mouth. I want a lawyer. I am not speaking to you, officer. That is it. That is where the game ends. From there, through booking, through sitting in jail, you do not say a fucking word well, you until say, your well, lawyer you shows say, up. Lawyer. Lawyer. Yeah. I would like to speak to I mean, you can be polite. Lawyer. I would like to speak to my lawyer, officer. I'd like to think you only say one word. I like to think you only say... Well, no, again, we don't want to get shot. We don't want to get beat. Lawyer! We don't want to give anybody a reason to, speak to, to stand lawyers. on our necks. No, see, that attitude? Lawyers! You're going to have somebody standing on your fucking neck. Shut up. <laughs> I would like to speak to my I lawyer, officer. I want to speak to my lawyer. And then they're going to they're gonna poke you and prod you. Dude, buddy, look, just talk to me. I'll help you out. I'll do this. I'll do that. It's all a fucking lie. There is no leeway under the law. Why can they lie to you, though? I still don't understand how that's legal. How is it legal that they can lie to you? Because that's the only thing that doesn't make sense to me. Because it is legal, but it, it seems like to me it would be entrapment to lie to someone. Well, no, no, no. It's entrapment if they're lying to you to cause you to, to do a crime. If they're tricking you into committing the crime, yeah. that's entrapment. If they have you detained or you're under arrest at this point and they lie to you, you're already guilty or not guilty, but you're already under arrest. They can lie to you and say, hey, your buddy said this. What do you have to say about it? Lawyer. Hey, your friend said this about you. What do you have to say? Lawyer. I don't care what it is or why. You cannot get in more trouble for not talking. There is no penalty to not talking. Yeah. There is no favor done for talking. Shut your fucking mouth and say lawyer. I don't care if you can afford it or not. You'll be in jail for longer. It's a penalty of the fucking situation. But you're under arrest either way. Do not cause more trouble. Well, say lawyer. By the way, I've said this to you a couple times this week. I didn't realize this. That whole idea of, like, get a public defender or whatever. I didn't realize this, but somebody told me this, and I went, holy shit. A public defender is not, like, for anyone. You have to prove you are indigent to get a public defender. So if you have, like, 20 bucks in the bank, they're going to basically say, pay for your own fucking lawyer. Well, no, I it mean, doesn't it's work more that than that, way. but yes. So it's just bullshit because that's not actually the way it should work. I thought you had the right to a fucking lawyer. You do. They cannot deny you a lawyer. Do not agree to questioning. Once you but arrive at the jailhouse, a, they can deny you a free lawyer if well, you got money. Well, I suppose, yes. That seems fucked up to me. Well, like, yeah. You don't want that guy, though. If you have money, buy the $20 lawyer. Don't get the free one. Everybody should have a free lawyer. Lawyer. That's what Bernie Sanders says. Okay. Free lawyers for America. Anyway, so Free. I hope I've driven the point across. You're under arrest at this point. Shut the fuck up and say lawyer. Now, you do you do have to be polite. So what about your chit-chat? Can you still no. chit-chat and make jokes? No. Shut your fucking mouth. Can you say there are two sausages in a frying pan? No, nope. shut the other up. One? Okay. Shut up, sit back, say and be quiet. Say why the monkey fell out of the tree? No. Do not say a thing. Because it was dead monkey? I mean, they wouldn't laugh at that? They may giggle, but it's not helping your case. But is it hurting my case? It could. Depends what you're under arrest for. I guess if you're under arrest for murder, the dead monkey no. joke... Yeah, that, not, that could be... Uh, uh, not a, tasteful. Well, yeah. It, well, it could also show an uh, uh, inclination for not caring about death. Now, once you re return to the jail, you do have to provide, like, military information. This is my name. This is my address. This is who I am. Outside of that, any line of questioning, outside of the booking relevant information, lawyer. Lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. 
Now, because you can get, like, if you're not going through the booking process, if you're being a jackal, you, they can add penalties to you for that. This is my name. This is where I live. You know, pertinent So if it's a factual, like, what is your height, you should answer that question. Yes. Do not lie. Never lie either. That's a crime. Withholding uh, information. But wait, like, if you're saying lawyer, you shouldn't answer questions, though. No, no. What is your height? Seven foot two. Obviously, you're not seven foot two. I got you. What is your name? Oh, you know, Hulk Hogan. Elwood Blues. Yeah. No, tell him your name. Fucking, there's nothing you can do. You're just making shit worse for yourself. Okay. Outside of that, lawyer. If they pull you into questioning for some serious crime, murder, rape, whatever you're in jail for at this point, lawyer, 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 do not agree to questioning without your lawyer. Because they will trick you. That they are trained I've to talk to you. I've seen that. What is that show? First 48? I've seen that enough that I've seen so many false confessions. Yeah. So many. Because at the very beginning, they reiterate, would you like to have a lawyer present during this investigation? But it's almost like the cops, like this is what You're, I don't know. It's not an admission of do guilt you think, if you ask for a lawyer. Do you think when the cops do this that they know they're getting a false confession? They don't care. Because it feels like there's it's false book, confession school. That, that's the big like thing about it. they go to a school to learn how to get one. Yes. Well, not necessarily false, but they know intimidation tactics and, uh, you know, interrogation tactics. The but thing that's is. that's not good, man. It's not. Well, no, it is good because sometimes it does work and the, you actually catch chemical or chemicals, criminals that way. The thing is. It is not an admission of guilt to request a person who knows the law. That's what you're doing. I don't know shit about this process. I would like to have somebody who knows how this works yeah. come in here and advise me. You have the right. They will provide a free one if you cannot afford one to guide you through the process of not sending yourself to jail. So do that. But essentially, that's where the story ends. Lawyer, 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 lawyer. All right, let's try to recap. Let's try to put a pin in it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over, swallow the drugs. Eat things in your car. Stab yourself if you need to. Necessary on a case-by-case -case If basis. necessary. Stab yourself if necessary. Don't kick beer cans. Don't stumble. Don't stumble. Slow, deliberate actions. Wear cops a, or T-Rexes. Cops or T-Rexes. Wear a belt. Yeah, wear a belt in properly fitting pants. In properly fitting pants. Don't wear flip-flops. No flippy floppies. Wear a bra. If you're a lady, wear a bra. When you are in the midst of being detained, it is okay to make idle chit-chat. If, if you're coherent. If, if you're coherent. Yeah, if you know your mindset is right. Delay, delay, delay if you have Force to them, take some kind of... Yeah. Sobriety test. Force them to do their job. Don't make it easy for them. Declare your weapons. Oh, yeah, we missed that. That's step one. Step one, no matter what, if you have a weapon, cops behind you, pull over, declare your weapon. Uh, when you are detained, when you're arrested, then you go from idle chit chat to just saying, Can well, I please have my lawyer? Yep. Be polite. Don't talk to the fucking cops when you're arrested. Oh. Answer the questions. Only question you answer. Pertinent questions. Pertinent, factual, how tall are you, how much do you weigh type questions. Lawyer. Lawyer. Lawyer, 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 lawyer. And if you do those things, you have a 99.9% nope. .9 chance. Nope. Of not showing on, on cops. Yeah. Of not being on cops. Yeah. <laughs> okay.